to please remain until we complete the program properly with, with a closing prayer. By we are gathered here today, this Saturday, September 8, 2007, to unveil this monument in remembrance of Coretta Scott King, who was born and grew up in this community. I consider Coretta Scott King my sister in the struggle. But we have both shared First Lady roles in the movement and have stayed in the storm for justice and have stayed in the storm for freedom and peace through many years. I charge you, Mount Tabor AME Zion Church, family members living in this community and community residents to take care of this monument that it will be a shining light to inspire and enlighten all who pass this way on these holy grounds on the kitchen stands. In the presence of the pastor, church members, friends, people of the movement, and family gathered here, I, Evelyn G. Lowry, unveil this monument of Coretta Scott King located on Coretta Scott King Memorial Highway and on the grounds of Mount Tabor AME Zion Church, North Perry, Alabama. And I would like to read the monument as soon as it's unveiled. I want to recognize the artist who is Mr. Ronald McDowell. Would you give him a hand? Yeah. Wow. Coretta Scott King, 1927 to 2006. Humanitarian, founder of the King Center and architect of Dr. King's institutional legacy, Mount Tabor AME Zion Church, Reverend Ivy Bryant Pastor, Coretta Scott King Memorial Highway, North Perry County, Alabama, presented by SCLC Women's Organizational Movement for Equality Now Inc. Evelyn Gibson Lowry found the chair. September 8, 2007. And I want to read to you the part of the people on the back of the program uh, of the monument who helped contribute to this. The sponsors of the monument were Drs. Camille O. and William H. Cosby, Jr., Yolanda Martin III, Dexter and Bernice King, John Lewis, the Joseph E. Lowry Institute, the National Park Service, the Turner Foundation Inc. and Jean Charles Young. And we have some representatives of the uh, Jean Charles Young family here today. Lisa Austin and uh, the sister of Jean. And Bo, I understand Bo, where are you? We'll present you later. So let me give this a hand. This is big money. Now let's return to our if we can. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll finish it right here. I simply want to acknowledge, I already did, Mr. McDowell, the presence of Mrs. Naomi King. I want to thank the relatives who have been here, who have helped. I want to thank the police escorts who helped bring us from Georgia to Alabama. Mm -hmm. I want to certainly thank the Alabama State University Choir. Jones, yes, and uh, also um, all of the uh, program participants. And I want to recognize briefly the presence of so many wonderful movement people I cannot call by name, but Chief Nunn from Birmingham, give her a hand. And Dr. Pajot of the um, Birmingham Institute of Museum, give him a hand, he's here. The selection by Alabama State College, and then the uh, university, and then the closing prayer by Reverend James Orange. Reverend Orange, won't you come forward? In my Lord, you never can, you're dead, why not have a reason? In my Lord, you never can, you're dead, 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 you Jonah from the lion's den, Jonah from the bear.